Hi, everybody. Token here with the Road to Liberty podcast coming to you with yet another subscribers only live stream on the Road to Liberty Network. Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Token. And tonight I got a special guest. We, If you guys have listened to the show for a significant amount of time, one of the very first interviews that we did on this show was with the gentleman with the Better Money Pack by the name of Connor Dragotas. And he is joining me tonight to talk about a brand new book that just came out a couple days ago called Work for Liberty. Connor, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. It's been a little while. It's been a while. I think <laughs> back in 2017 was when we had you on the show to start off with. Yeah, it's it's been a while. I'm glad to see uh, everything seems to be going well. And geez, you guys just keep growing. Yeah, we do. I mean, if Facebook doesn't keep throttling our reach, we'll just keep on going. Well, we, we've been finding ways around that. We'll continue to find ways around that. Well, let's get into this book that you just released. It's called Work for Liberty, and it's a guide about finding jobs in the liberty world so, so that people can do what I've been doing for free for years, but they can actually get paid for it. So why, why don't you tell us all about that? There's really jobs working for Liberty that you can get paid in? Believe it or not, there are not just dozens, there's not just hundreds, but there are thousands of jobs in what I'd consider to be the great umbrella of the Liberty movement. And yeah, this is a book that kind of exactly like you said, it was born out of necessity, right? You said you've been doing this for free for a long time. And uh, I was very much the same way back in 2017. Last time we spoke, uh, I didn't have a job. I was doing Liberty projects. I was doing things a lot of times for free. And um, during that six months that I spent looking for work uh, that was purpose driven, that was Liberty oriented, uh, man, I found a lot of resources that were hidden in the corners of the internet. And uh, just about a year ago, uh, I came across this folder with all of these resources together and I realized you know what? I I needed these. And my guess is that a lot of people out there need them too. How can I get this into people's hands? And it turned into a book and uh, it's already begun to help people, which I couldn't be more happy about. So tell me about the book. What kind of information can people find in this book? Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's not a huge book. I think I should be clear, right? Uh, people should not be coming to work for Liberty because they're looking for the next great American novel, right? <laughs> I don't consider myself to be an amazing writer. Uh, but what you are going to get in this book is really clear, practical, tangible advice uh, on how to do things like ace a behavioral interview, how to put together a resume that's going to stand out, how to write a cover letter that's going to make you ring through the first round of HR compliance to actually land an interview. Uh, I teach uh, a business class at the college level uh, and the university I teach at, it's a lot of the same information, putting real information in people's hands. Uh, so that's a portion of the book. And then the other half is actually a, a list of organizations uh, with descriptions about each one and direct links, not just to these organizations, but direct links to their job pages, which are unfortunately so often hidden in the corners of their website. Uh, my goal was to put the tools directly in people's hands, get to the job page, find the jobs that fit for you, and get busy getting paid to work for Liberty. So what is some of the most useful uh, material that you have in this book? Not to give anything away, because obviously <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to sell this book, but just to give it an idea of some of the more helpful advice that people are going to be able to find. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I set my goal very, uh, very low, right? I, I'm care, I care a lot less about the number of books that I sell. And I honestly care a heck of a lot more about uh, how many people that we can get uh, working for Liberty. And it's, it's still incredibly selfish. It's because I recognize that there's so many people out there uh, who could be amazing allies for me and my work in advancing Liberty and, and help other organizations succeed. So um, the number one thing that, that I love uh, talking about in this book uh, is the concept of purpose. Uh, because there are hundreds of jobs out there, because there are thousands of jobs out there uh, oriented around Liberty, you need to be thinking about, you know, what are you good at? What do you love to do? What can you get paid for? 
and what does the world need? Those are the four different categories that comprise uh, purpose, in my opinion. Um, and and right now, I think the world needs a little bit more liberty, uh, and that's that's really what we're trying to do is is talk about purpose, get people to think about what they're doing and why they're doing it, uh, and take that next step to do it professionally and and make the world a little bit more free. Well, I absolutely agree with that. The world could always be using a little bit more liberty. And we, we, we find that out more and more every single day, especially as we creep closer and closer to another election. Well, I mean, we'll just have to see where that goes. I mean, it, the world's a bit nuts right now, right? The, wor the world's is. absolutely crazy. It is. I mean, you know, people are struggling. And, uh, you know, especially as you read about it, I mean, I saw a study the other day, and this is a, this is a horrible statistic, but 25% of millennials have considered suicide since February. Um, that number is staggeringly high, but what it tells me is that people are seeking community, um, they're seeking connection, they're seeking purpose in what they're doing. And, and I figure, you know what? The liberty movement should be a movement that lifts people up. Uh, that's what our MO is. So uh, let's actually put some muscle behind that. Let's help get people jobs. Let's help get people uh, jobs that have purpose. And let's do something that actually matters to help out our fellow people who care about liberty. And that's the thing about the liberty movement. It relies so much on the hard work and dedication of people who don't make a cent for what they do. There's a lot of people out there just putting in their time, their sweat, their tears to make this movement possible, and they don't get the appreciation they deserve. They don't get the back and they go. They don't make a cent from it. They do it purely because they believe so much in the message that they're willing to make those sacrifices. But as time goes on, even the most dedicated volunteers get burnt out, right? And I think this that's one of the reasons why this book is... is so helpful and so good for people in this movement because yeah it's good to be financially rewarded for all the hard work you do right and and and, and so it's such a good thing that that resources like this exist to help people out like that well i certainly hope so that's that's definitely the goal i'd be so excited to just be able to to see people out there who could say hey listen i found something on page 78 of this book and, and i'm just so excited to you know apply to this organization get involved uh because you're right when people get burned out the first thing to go is gonna it, it out of necessity has to many times be the thing that's not paying the bills uh and if we're an army of, of people who care about liberty and we're only volunteering uh you know at some point the bills come due at some point you have to put food on the table uh wouldn't it be really nice if the thing that you love was also putting food on the table uh, that's I mean that's the dream and and that's what I feel so lucky in my life to have and that's really what I want to give to other people and and help them earn uh, is something that they can really hang their hat on and say hey look what I built it's liberty and it's here to stay. So what kind of organizations uh, can you find in this book? What what kind of jobs are out there for people to find? Yeah, you know, there's there's such a vast array of jobs, and I think this is actually one of a really cool time for for liberty minded organizations because they're starting to appeal uh, to a wider audience. This is what you know the Overton window. The time to strike is now when it comes to liberty, uh, because quite frankly, what we're seeing in the world is not very liberty friendly uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, so this could be anything from think tanks to law firms to policy organizations to advocacy groups. Um, you know, also in this in this book are access is access to job boards to recruiters. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but there are recruiting companies that are nonprofits that only serve liberty minded organizations, free market think tanks. Um, I, you know, those are out there. Uh, and, and if I can help connect people to that, man, I'm going to be thrilled because that means I'm going to see you at the next conference. That means I'm going to see you the next time that uh, I'm traveling somewhere to meet with like-minded folks. And uh, that would just be the best thing in the world to see these rooms full of people who care about liberty. Get a little bit more full. Let's, let's put some real muscle. Um, I don't know if you've experienced this, but so many times when I talk to people who care about liberty, you know, they're so excited, they're so energetic, and uh, invariably the question comes up, what do you do for a living? 
And so often what I get is, ah, well, you know, I work at a bank. I'm a consultant. I'm a finance guy. I'm a contractor. I fill in the blank, but all of their energy is gone because it's not what they care about. It's not what they love. It's not what their purpose is. And uh, I just, I want to reassure all of your listeners, there's a community out there of people who do this full time and we get paid. Uh, and a lot of us get paid really well to do things that we love. Uh, and that could be you. And, and, that, and that's really what I want people to take away from this. So you're talking mostly about think tanks and organization of that nature, do a lot mm -hmm. of academic work and policy work, stuff like that. What are the, what are some of the requirements people are going to need before looking into these jobs? Yeah, for sure. Well, first of all, you have to subscribe to amazing programs like Roads to Liberty, uh, because that means that your mindset is probably already in the right place. Uh, I think one of the one of the biggest stumbling blocks that that people have is they think that they need some advanced degree to to work for a think tank or they need some a PhD to have good ideas. Uh, and that's just not true. A lot of these organizations are hiring people who work in marketing. They work in communications. I work for a law firm. I don't have a law degree. I'm out here because I care about marketing and my job is to win in the court of public opinion. Uh, you know, there are a bunch of different ways that you can get involved. Um, and in terms of qualifications, if this is the first time that you have ever thought about liberty and the, and the concepts of increasing freedom, uh, the best resume builders that you can have, uh, in my opinion, is just to start volunteering, get involved with grassroots organizations like Americans for Prosperity or uh, create your own organization on a local issue. Sometimes those, uh, when I look at resumes, some of those things are the ones that I look most closely at because it's not something uh, that someone's doing because they have to, they're doing it because they genuinely care. Uh, and a lot of liberty-minded organizations, they understand that drive. And those are the kind of people that they want to invest in and train to be the next generation of leaders. Also with, a, with local organizations that focus on local issues, a lot of the time, those are the best places to actually get things done and make positive changes in your community. Like everyone wants to focus on presidential elections, senatorial elections, big things, right? They forget the fact that most of the policies that are going to actually affect your life aren't coming from the president. They aren't coming from Washington, D.C. Hell, most of the time, they aren't even coming from your state capitol. They're coming from City Hall, right down the street from you, where you can sit in on a local meeting, that you can get up and speak. That's where a lot of the important issues that actually affect your day-to-day -day life are dealt with. So getting involved with local organizations that focus on local issues is actually very useful for libertarians to do. And it's a place where you can actually see a difference made. You know, you can you can beat your head bloody, pounding it against the wall, trying to get a Joe Jorgensen elected to, to the presidency. You can get a city councilman elected. I mean, one of, one of the founders of this podcast is an elected libertarian sitting in a city council. It's possible to do, and it's possible possible to affect change in your local area. That's so true. That's a, such a great point. And, it, you know, one of the things in, in this resource guide is it's not a comprehensive list. I actually put a disclaimer at the front of the book that says, hey, listen, we're going to do more editions of this book. If you have organizations that you know on the local, state, regional or national level that are great, send them to me and I'll give you credit in the next edition. This is about helping people, not about uh, uh, anything else. This is we want more allies of people who care about liberty doing this full time. I, th I think I may actually have one in mind. Do you know about the Platt Institute? I do. I do indeed. Yeah. Uh, you have um, a number Laura of people Ebke. there actually. J yeah. Uh, Laura Ebke, Laura Ebke works Jim there. Vocal, I think is a CEO out there. Really good people doing some amazing work. I don't know if I call them out individually, but I know for a fact uh, that they are uh, featured right now in two different job boards. Um, that I have listed in the resources section of this of, of this resource guide. And I guess I should say that too. Uh, you know, I'm talking about employment, but it's not just about jobs. Uh, one of the people, we started a uh, community discord 
um, as part of this book launch. So a way for people to connect and network and help each other out. And on the first day, actually it was in the first three hours of making the Discord public, we had a guy uh, reach out. He's a little bit uh, older. Uh, you know, he's in his in his 40s. So, you know, certainly not someone at the start of his career, but he was looking for an internship or a fellowship, uh, just a way to plug in with an organization. And uh, that's something that this resource guide also has uh, is internships, fellowships, uh, events that you could be going to to connect with people. Um, but all of that uh, is also going to continue to grow through our community, which I think is arguably maybe even more important than the book in many ways. Uh, we just crossed over uh, 30 people in two days joining up on the Discord uh, just to help each other out. They're posting their resumes. They're posting jobs. They're posting tips and tricks for, for getting hired. And these are people who are some of them looking, some of them already working for Liberty actively, some folks who are looking for higher level jobs uh, within the Liberty movement uh, generally. So um, that's a great place to connect um, if folks are interested in, in really plugging in and, and touching base with this community. See, that's one thing that libertarians do do very well. It's, it's create online communities where they can uh, communicate with each other. Now, liberta libertarians may not be very well, may not be very good at, at getting presidential candidates elected, but we're very good at creating <laughs> online communities. <laughs> Absolutely. With one another. And I want to be clear too, right That's after we COVID, we want to we want to do more in-person stuff. Let's plug in with organizations like America's Future Foundation or uh, any of these other uh, grassroots organizations that have local, regional uh, chap chapters. Um, our hope is to be able to partner with organizations, to plug people in. Um, you know, one thing that libertarians also probably, uh, I, hopefully you'd agree with me or maybe not, but, uh, they don't always do a good job of lifting each other up organizations, oh right? Oh boy. <laughs> we do this, we do this and it's, it's natural. It's because, you know, there's this sense of rugged individualism, which in so many ways drives us forward. But at the same time, one of the reasons that, uh, you know, we voluntary association is so powerful. And when we build coalitions, of people who who want to move the ball forward, man, we can move mountains. And uh, this is not going to be a, a selfish group of people in our discord and, and those associated with work for Liberty. We want to actively be partnering with organizations. We want to be helping them increase their brand and make sure that their local events are successful. Uh, because let's be honest, some of these organizations are a heck of a lot wealthier than, than just me trying to launch a book project in a community. I want to amplify their voice, not try to cannibalize it. Absolutely. You said earlier that you believed that the iron was hot for some of these libertarian ideas to get out there and actually start to make a difference. It sounds a bit optimistic to me. What's the what's the reason for the optimism? Yeah. Well, you know, I wouldn't be the first time I've been accused of being overly optimistic, but it served me well so far. Uh, I think I, I look at liberty on an issue by issue basis. Uh, when I look at something like criminal justice reform, there's a lot of people on the left, like, uh, you know, reform is actually uh, the name of one of the most powerful groups um, uh, in the country handling that. You know, that's an organization that we might not agree on everything, but darn it, we certainly agree on criminal justice reform. And I'm going to lead with an olive branch there, become friends with them and make a real human connection. On the right, it's going to be the same thing. Those uh, who care about financial responsibility, those who care about reigning in the national debt, many people who are huge uh, Second Amendment and rights of self-defense supporters, those are friends. Uh, and again, we might not agree on everything, but there are a lot of uh, places out there where the window of opportunity, where that iron is hot, let's get after it, make those friends. And uh, I think people will be surprised when they lead with an, with an olive branch instead of a sword. I think they'll be amazed by how far they can get. Absolutely. And, and the, there's a lot, the, like we've talked about before, the world is pretty crazy right now, but there's a lot to be hopeful about, right? The longer, say, the lockdowns continue, the more people are going to get frustrated with it, the more they're going to defy the orders of their local government. The crazier the political environment that it gets, the crazier that gets, the more people are going to start realizing how absolutely insane this whole system is, how illegitimate a lot of it is, and how much we need to embrace more individual autonomy, how in people need to be trusted with their own lives, their own liberty, 
and not have to give all the power over their lives over to some bureaucrat a thousand miles away in Washington, D.C. And a lot of the organizations that you talked about, a lot of the think tanks and policy wonks, they're very, these are very good organizations for figuring that kind of thing out and reaching out to people and trying to bring them into the fold of libertarianism, or, or even if not bring them into the fold of libertarianism, help them understand where we're coming from and find that common ground that you sp spoke about. Like people don't need to be 100% with us on everything in order for us to work with them on things that we do care about, right? On things that we do agree on. Right, so some uh, anti-war Republican, maybe they don't agree with us on uh, civil liberties and, and ending the drug war and stuff like that, but they want to end the war and we end the wars and we can we can help them out on that. Uh, some Democrats may not be with us on economics, but gosh darn it, they want to reform the police system, and that's that's a hell of a thing to want, and we we should be supporting that kind of thing. Absolutely, you know, there's uh, one of the people who I think is doing this so well is Matt Kibbe right over at free the people mm. um and and the philosophy behind that uh, this is this is my opinion as an outsider looking in uh but i think it applies here is the messaging of liberty is only going to work if we're willing to meet people where they're ready to hear it uh just going out there and yelling or carrying on about things that people don't care about right like there's a reason why why campaign apps uh when people are canvassing door to door now the data says Hey, you're going to go up to you know 13 Main Street. They already know what issues you care about, uh, and that's because that these two major parties uh, have really spent a ton of time using data to back up their operations. Uh, and you know this isn't a party uh, affiliated project. This isn't a party affiliated anything. This is about the concept of liberty uh, and moving people forward. I see that as a big tent, and man, are there a lot of friends that we can make uh, when when we start moving the ball forward on making people's lives better. Absolutely. So tell us about how people can get this book. Where can they go to find it? Yeah, for sure. Uh, the best place is uh, obviously it's available on Amazon. I'll make sure that you have that link for your show notes. Um, all right. Yeah, you bring up the one pager here. So uh, that Amazon uh, uh, link there, um, I'll make sure that you have that uh, to copy and paste over as well. Uh, you can also find Work for Liberty. Uh, on Facebook. Uh, you can also go to connordragotis.com slash work for liberty uh, and get a direct link there. Uh, I'd also encourage folks to take a look at the Discord. Uh, again, that's the community that we're building around this uh, book and around this project to help people find jobs, to help people find meaningful work uh, advancing liberty. That's going to be a key place for our growth. And uh, if you join the Discord, there's a link to grab the book in there as well. So why not? Two birds, one stone, start with the Discord and uh, grab the book through the Amazon link there. All right, remember, I don't, uh, it's, it's Connor Dragotas, D R I G O T A S, Dragotas.com. You got to make sure, you got to make sure people know, uh, can, can with spell a name it like right. Dragotas, you can't spell it enough. It's absolutely <laughs> true. Absolutely. Hey, tr trust me, I, I have a lot of experience with people absolutely butchering my name, even though it seems completely obvious to me right all right so anything else you want to you want to share to the audience before we call in just a huge thank you i really appreciate you having me on uh this is a project that i really care about uh because i think it can help a lot of people and uh again this is about finding purpose uh and advancing liberty uh like i said before i believe the liberty movement's a movement that can lift each other up uh and i'd love to see you all there and, and helping make that a reality. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you for creating this resource for people and let us know, uh, let us, let us know how it goes. And if you meet anybody in any of these events that you talk about who, uh, got inspired by your book, let us know about that too. Cause that's just, that would be the coolest thing. Absolutely. Fingers crossed. Believe me, it would be the coolest thing for me too. So thank you. All right, man. Good night. Have a great night. See ya. All right, everybody, before I call it tonight, I'm going to do a little bit of selling myself. We have a brand new website that we opened up a few weeks ago, roads the number 2 liberty.com. We have a very long list of fantastic items there that you can buy from us. The shirts are $20 a piece, and then we have a coffee mug for $12. So please get on that and buy some of our 
fantastic merchandise. This one right here, the Boob Girl shirt, is a personal favorite of a lot of people. It's a design of a hula girl holding up an AR-15 with some NVGs on her face. That's a favorite of a lot of people. So get on that, Road to Liberty, road to the number two, liberty.com, and buy some merchandise. Also, if you want to listen to the subscriber episodes on time and live, subscribe to our Facebook page, Roads to Liberty, and become a subscriber, and you'll be added to the private Facebook group where these episodes go live. So make sure you get on that. And that's all I got for tonight, everybody. See you later. Have a good night.